Let's take a look at these Vikings 2023 draft picks after all these trades. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepagus show. I'm One Bar with the always handsome Lepagus. And uh, after this glorious day, after some a lot of trades in the offseason, let's just peruse at what we got left of this 2023 draft class, baby. Yeah, Vikings making moves early for Jalen Rager, then getting Ross Blacklock, and now getting TJ Hawkinson. Where the hell do we stand when it comes to 2023 picks? Do we even have any anymore? Hard to know. We're going to recap it all for you so you guys know exactly where we stand. Before we do, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the vids. Still time to drop hashtag 8,000 in the comments. We have not yet drawn in hell. We're damn near to 8,100. It's been such a good day today. Uh, also, remember, this video is brought to you by Liftbridge Brewing Company. Find their beers in a local liquor store, liquor store near you or go online. Buy yourself a shirt like this. How nice is that? Look how it fits. Looks real good on me. Yeah, it's the end of the month, too, so we'll be doing our two Patreon giveaways for the Liftbridge gear uh, and our one bar in Lepagus Swag. So be sure to subscribe. Hashtag 8000 in the comments. But uh, let's do this. So we had a lot of trades last year's draft. I mean, everything's just all over the place. Um, like yep. you said, Russ, Ross Blacklock, we traded a sixth rounder. Jalen Rager, a seventh rounder this year, a fourth rounder, potential fourth rounder next year. Nick Mullins, a seventh rounder next year. We got shit all over the place. So let's look at it. Let's look at it. I'm sure you have a graphic whipped up for us. You do. Yeah. So a lot of red there. A lot of red. Uh, as of now, we currently have four draft picks. The big boy is number one. Number two. Doesn't even bother us. You know why? We got TJ freaking Hawkinson. We do. We do. Uh, you, and then you got you know you got your third round pick. You got a pick back in that TJ Hawkinson deal. So you got your fourth round pick, which we didn't have prior to that trade today, and then a fifth rounder. Um, no round six. No round seven. A couple things to talk about here. Um, let's talk about the round one. I mean, it depends where this is going to fall. Uh, Quasi proved last year. What does he like to do? He likes to wheel and deal. So I don't think the Vikings are going to end up with just four picks this year. Let's let's not kid ourselves. They're not going to make four selections. Maybe They'll we end up many with one. More selections. He, likes, he likes trading. And here's the thing, though. Uh, this may be one of these years where the Vikings don't make a first-round pick because they're going to be probably picking late. They could definitely move out, especially if there's some quarterback who's kind of a late first uh, that some other team might want to jump up and get. Yeah, and uh, I mean, and, and this fourth from the Lions is basically, unless they pull it, turn around, is a late third rounder. I mean, it's going to be a very, very early third round or fourth round pick. And uh, Lepagus knows this as well, but we're going to be looking at two comp picks, probably two six rounders for uh, Xavier Woods and Mason Cole. Mason Cole. So thank you to them. Uh, everybody's going to be wondering, I would. Uh, Zedaria Smith, he was cut, so that doesn't count. And Tyler Conklin was canceled out by Harrison Phillips. Yep, so it looks like we're going to probably get two six-round compensatory picks. There will be some day three action for Vikings fans. Don't just pass out after round five. There'll be more to watch. But again, I think the thing to watch here, too, is the trade with Kwesi. Uh He'll move around, up or down. He will collect some more picks. And uh, so, yeah, right now, 2023 NFL draft doesn't look – overly exciting for the Vikings. Well, we're looking, at, we're looking but, at six picks, and I think we all have to come to realize that the days of 15 picks and the days of 12 picks of Trader Rick just going to town, those days are over where we're looking for value and we're not afraid to give up a draft pick, even if it means for Ross freaking Blacklock. Well, yeah, and let's go back and put that back up because let's just say, you know, our, that second round pick is TJ Hawkinson. What would you rather have? TJ Hawkinson right now, or a rookie tight end who may or may not pan out, maybe the next Irv Smith Jr. I think getting the TJ Hawkinson there, uh, knowing what you got, knowing you got a star in this league, a young star who's 25 years old, well worth a round two pick. And I will punt that thing any day to get a guy like TJ Hawkinson on this team. Boom. Absolutely. I don't think anyone would disagree with that. So there's where we're standing right now. Like you said, I, I, I completely am on board thinking that we'll end up getting something back especially with that late first round or trade back, maybe get another third, whatever it is. But let us know down below. This is about as much draft talk as we're going to do lately because, you know what, we're 6-1, and one, and there's no reason to talk about the draft. No, we're going to talk about getting to 7-1, and one, and then to 8-1. Yeah, and maybe. One, yeah, maybe. And then to 16-1. We'll get there. We'll get there. All right, speaking of getting there, remember this. Cookie Monster's real first name is actually Sid. Hmm. 